Welcome back everyone, Triple M here. Today's video, we're talking about the Fire Stick again, but today I'm gonna show you how to add hundreds of channels to your Fire TV Stick, completely free, completely legal, and the setup is pretty straightforward. So this video is not gonna be too long. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Let's go. So like I said, this video is not gonna take too long. If you own a Fire TV stick or Fire TV cube or any Fire TV with the Fire TV OS as you see in here, you do have built-in features that adds hundreds of channels from your favorite applications. It just makes it a lot easier to get to. So for the most part, your Fire TV stick should look like this, the new interface. So if you have your old Fire TV stick, updating is pretty straightforward. To check for updates, you're gonna to go to your gears icon. Then you go to go down to my Fire TV, going to click on about now you go down to updates you can see i do have an update available but right there if you update to install you should be able to check just to make sure you're fully up to date so what we're talking about is the live channels area so often looked over most people that bought the five tv stick they download their favorite applications where it be netflix youtube tv youtube they'll stream those applications not taking advantage of some of the other built-in features like the live channels that we're looking at. So the live channels area is an area designed to combine your favorite applications, your streaming applications, free as well as paid applications, put it in one spot and just makes it easier to get to your content. So if we click on the guide, you can see it has ton of channels and it's all in a traditional TV guide. Now, if you look in the top left, it says news by fire TV, but if you keep scrolling down, now it's by Haystack, and we'll scroll down some more. All right, now we're on Pluto TV and it does this for all the applications. We're gonna get into that here in a little bit. So you can see uh, vehicle 19 is currently on. All I need to do is just click on it. All right, so we'll start streaming. Remember, these are gonna be ad supported. So you're gonna see pop-up ads every once in a while, but it's not too bad, especially consider that this is free. Let's go back again. And you can see it has a nice picture in picture view in the bottom right. So this is all good and said, but how do you set this up? How do you customize it? So all you need to do is from the guide area, press the three lines on your remote, the menu button. And you should see this pop-up right here. Now from the pop-up, you have a couple options. You can add to favorite channel. So basically the current channel that I'm on, which is Drama 71. If I want to add that to my favorite, all I need to do is just select add. And that's now added to my favorite. Now scrolling all the way to the top, you can see now the first channel that's listed is that drama channel. Just makes it easier to get to. All right, let's hit the menu again. Next, we're gonna have the option to add channels. If you click on that, and I'm gonna scroll all the way to the top and kind of show you where I am. So these are all the available applications that works with the live TV area. So you can see the first list of applications already added to the view that we just looked at. And I'll show you how to add more here in a little bit. You can see we have Prime Videos that have three channels. Pluto TV has 62 channels. Plex has 47, Tubi 49, Zumo 50. We have News by Fire TV that has 15. We have Haystack with 50. And notice beside each one of them, you can turn it off or you can show it or not show it. It just depending on what you want to view at that particular time. Now scroll down, you do have the option to add more channels. So if you have a YouTube TV subscription that's signed in, uh, you can add it. You have Direct TV, Sling TV, you have Philo, Fox Sports, Fox Now, TLC Go, you also have Freebie, which is an Amazon streaming application. You have, you have Peacock, Fox News, and at the bottom you have Red Bull and Local Now. So these two are also free. So let me show you how to add them. So all you need to do basically is click on it. Now, if you don't have the app downloaded like I, I do, I don't have it downloaded to my device, it will bring you directly to the store. You can go ahead and download the application. So we'll just give it a second for it to download. All right, so once it's downloaded and installed, you're gonna go ahead and launch it. And the primary reason for launching it is just to basically get through the setup and just make it register on your device. So uh, for this, I'm not gonna activate. All these applications, by the way, the free ones that I'm um, showing you, you don't 
need to sign up most of them do have the option for you to sign up that's to keep track of your your content your playlist your favorites and so on and so forth but uh, i'll just go ahead and skip it i think most people end up skipping it as well all right so here's uh the red bull application i'm in there so once i'm in here i can go ahead and just back out of it and we'll just back out again all right so now we're back at the sources and now you can see that Red Bull is added with the free 11 channels that it provides. And you can do that with any one of these. Local Now is another one that's going to have local news. All right. One more thing at the top. If you go to manage all channels, uh, you do have some option here as well. So you can see to the right, fast forward is to move the source. So if you hit fast forward, you do have the option where you can move the source. This is how the source is uh, displayed. Um, basically so right now prime video is going to be first and pluto then plex and so on and so forth you can hide the source that you're on so if i wanted to hide the prime video channels of three i just hit the play pause button and it'll go ahead and hide it all right same thing to show it so pretty straightforward once again let's go back and that's basically the entire setup guys like i said with this I'm going to have hundreds of channels. You can see I have Plex on here. I do have Pluto TV. I have Zumo. I have most of the top free streaming applications built into a nice user interface. And again, if you have YouTube TV, if you have Hulu, you can add those as well. And you can organize it whatever way that makes sense for you. So in the comments, let me know what you guys think. Do you use the live channels applications or the live area on your Fire TV stick? I know that most Fire TVs have the icon on the remote, which looks like a television with the antennas that you can go ahead and just launch it. Um, but let me know how many of you actually take advantage of the full setup. Of course, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.